Hey there people, welcome to Mr. Unbox. Last time we unboxed the Kingsong KS18L electric unicycle. And there were loads of people asking us to do a more thorough review. So let's go on a ride and talk about the KS18L. KS18L comes with a 1036 watt hour battery. It supports dual charging and has two charge ports built in. And that means if you attach two chargers at one time, it will charge the battery twice as quick. If you charge from 0%, the charging time would probably be 3 to 4 hours. But since the KS18L limits your speed already at 40% power, that means that uh, you are not very likely to go all the way down to 0% on your battery anyway. The full range of this wheel is, I think they say 90 to 100 kilometers on a charge. I did a 60 kilometer ride on this wheel measured by the wheel, that's important because it was only 50 kilometers on GPS. And I didn't use all the power on the battery, so I really expect to be able to go, I don't know, maybe 90 to 100 kilometers on a charge. Hey, but then again, I am a tiny Asian dude. I don't put so much weight pressure on the wheel. So not everybody will, of course, be able to get the same mileage on a charge as I will. The mud flap works exactly as it should, and I really don't think it is as ugly as I feared from the first images of it. I was planning to design and create my own mud guard on my Sculpto 3D printer, but being as it is, I'm really not in a hurry. The recommended tire pressure is 40 psi. To me it seems a little soft, but this is the recommendation printed on the tire. The trolley handle works fine. It has two steps of retraction. One is really really tall for a small guy like me, but the other height is perfect. Kingsung has just released a new version of their Android app. It is version 1.50 and it fully supports the battery meters on the KS18L, which is quite good. It also supports adjusting or calibrating the lift sensor or turning it off completely. For iPhone, however, there's no updated app yet. So if you want to change your speed settings, you will have to use the one called Darkness Bud. But I'm pretty sure that Kingsung will release an iOS version soon. One of the killer features for the KS18L was the inclusion of a lift sensor. But I decided to turn mine off completely in the app. I simply do not trust it. And that is partly because of the way it is constructed. The, I experienced once that the sensor all of a sudden shut off the engine when I was trying to mount the wheel. And I realized that this sensor is actually a stress sensor that also will react to temperature. Meaning that if you go from warm to cold temperature or the opposite, you actually risk the sensor of shutting off the engine. I know they put in some security measures so it wouldn't happen while you're riding more than 5 km per hour. But I still don't trust it completely. I wish Kingsung 
would have done something like in motion did with a mechanical button that seems a lot more reliable to me but let me know what you think do you use the lift sensor do you appreciate it tell me in the comments below Lights on the KS18L are very bright. They're probably the brightest headlights on any EUC at the moment, and that is really cool. It also has a flashing mode, which is perfect for riding in well lit urban areas on the street lights. You can really get seen easily with those flashing lights both back and front. There seems to be a problem, however, with the placement of the light sensor. I've had a hard time figuring out how to turn on the lights completely. It seems that uh, when I turn them off using the power button on the wheel, the backlight doesn't turn on until the light sensor registers complete darkness, which means that I have to cover up the sensor to get the backlights to work. And when I stop the wheel, and continue I have to do the exact same again to get the backlights working that simply isn't good enough I was hoping this is just a case of me not doing it correctly I tried to follow the advice of all of you friendly people out there and no matter what I did I couldn't get it to work correctly I also got confirmation from some other KS18 owners that their unicycles behave the exact same way so it seems that there is a problem stuck somewhere in the firmware on this wheel. Hopefully this will get fixed very soon. The question stands, is the KS18L the best wheel on the market right now? Well, it's definitely up there. If you're looking for a wheel and you're looking at the KS18L, then yes, definitely it is a great wheel. But you should also look at the 9-Bot C10, uh, the Godway M Super X, the InMotion V10F, those are all the best wheels at the moment and if you're in the market for something new, those four are the ones you should look at. For me, the KS18L is definitely a winner. If you didn't already see the unboxing video, you should uh, click the card up there and that will take you straight to that one. If you liked this review, then go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss our next video, hit the subscribe button now, and I'll see you next time. So stay frosty, people, and see ya! KS18L.